Good, oh, that looks harsh. Good morning, it is me, Naturally Z, and welcome back to my channel where I do feature my natural hair journey as well as my fitness journey at my current age of 54 years old. And today is Thursday morning. all I gotta say. It's me Naturally Z and welcome back to my channel where I do feature my natural hair journey as well as my fitness journey at my current age of 54 years old. And what I like to show you guys is one, an older woman, myself, giving you an authentic peek into my fitness journey and I show you my workouts, I provide you with information and also hopefully encouragement and motivation to go out and explore your fitness journey. So everyone's different and I want to respect everyone for being different and being able to explore your own fitness journey. But I like to show you mine because I am in this journey myself to always be healthy, lose weight, lose fat, tone up, and now that I've jumped the broom and I'm in my 50s, also help to maintain bone density, uh, maintain my coordination and my balance and my flexibility. Those are things that 20 year olds, 30 year olds, 40 year olds maybe think about. So these are things that are very important. All right, got that out of the way. So again, it is Thursday morning and I'm about to do my cardio in the park. We're still in the midst of the coronavirus lockdown, at least in my area. We are still taking it very seriously as far as maintaining self-quarantine. I do not go to the gyms. Some of the gyms are actually open, but I choose not to go. I am not going into any type of enclosed building uh, because nothing has changed as a result of possibly catching the coronavirus. So I am still continuing my workout with my cardio in the park and I'm doing some yoga in the backyard. So my fitness right now is showing you guys different exercises and workouts that are possible during this time right now. So we all want to be safe. You want to be safe, but you can still work out. And that's what I want to show you guys. So I'm getting ready to go to the park right now. And what I'm going to do is I really just thought about it is I am going to do a continuation of my video that I just recently posted where I showed you a beginner's workout using resistance bands. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a workout with those exercises included in my workout for today. And I just want to give you guys an idea of how I incorporate those exercises into my workout. So let me show you today what I do and I hope you guys like it. Now, if you haven't seen the first video, which most people haven't, uh, it's right here and you guys can take a look at that if you are a beginner and then you guys can look at this video. Get it? All right. So let me get dressed. Got my clothes right here and let's go. A few minutes later. Hey. Before I left, I wanted to show you my hair. So just to show you guys 
that I'm being authentic and giving you guys a real peek into someone who wears their hair natural and is on a fitness journey. So it's not either or. I'm not doing certain exercises in order to protect my hair. No. Fitness first, hair second. So this is what it's looking like. I am into the third week since I washed my hair and I am going to be washing my hair this Sunday. I'm looking forward to it. So I have my hair in these small two strand twist ends and for the last three weeks, probably every two or three days, I have been reconditioning my hair and just keeping it twisted up. So, and with my natural hair journey, my objective is to grow my hair in the front, in the front to chin length. That's all I want. That's what I want. I don't want to have to stretch it and it reaches here. I want it to be while shrunk at chin length. So that's what I'm looking for, or at least lip, you know, come on, man. I've been on this journey for a while, but with a fitness journey and your natural hair journey, any journey, it's all about patience and action. So do the actions in order to achieve the goals that you want, but you have to be patient. You cannot push it any quicker if you want those results to happen and be satisfied with them. So I am practicing patience. Cardio in the park coming up. <laughs>
welcome to Cardio in the Park. And I am in the midst of doing my, what am I doing? In the midst of doing my resistance band uh, portion of the workout. And it really helps with doing the resistance band exercises first and moving on to do more complex movements. Now, right in the midst of doing my resistance band portion, my band broke. <laughs> I just broke it. I just broke my band. Completely broke. Right in the middle of doing my, um, what is that called? Tabletop, uh, tabletop, uh, glute kickbacks. And so I have to get another one of these. All right, let me get back to my workout. almost done with my workout in my cardio in the park and actually I am super super tired it is almost 12 30 I have not eaten at all today started it off late I'm giving you all my complaints uh, and issues I'm dealing with during this workout so but I'm still here and I'm almost finished and I actually could leave now if I wanted to but I'm gonna do one more exercise and what I'm doing are plyometrics. Just uh, the exercise before was jumping, oh, uh, jumping squat, or yeah, jumping squats. So body weight jumping squats, and I'm gonna do one more. And both of these I would have done with the resistance band, but the one that I use, it broke. It broke during this workout. So I'm just doing it without it, and you get the same effect. Um, well, not as as much, but you get a really good effect with the jumping. These are body weight exercises working the whole body and um, 
I am doing it really slow and carefully right now because I am super tired and don't feel like doing it. And I'm doing it on the grass because it is a soft surface compared to the cement. It may not appear that I'm jumping very high because one, I'm not. There is some uh, gap between the ground and my feet, so I am definitely jumping, but it's not super high. It's just enough that I know that I'm up in the air away from the ground. So let me go ahead and do my last exercise and I will sum up this workout. All right, because I want to go home and eat some breakfast. All right, let me do this. Here we go. With that exercise, I am actually jumping up in the air, bringing my feet apart further than hip width apart, twisting my torso, coming down, touching my toe with the opposite hand. And what this is working is my whole body. First of all, cardio. Second, my obliques and my abs. Uh, no special order but my hips as well, my butt cheeks, my thighs, the inner thighs, the outer thighs. So it's a great, great um, plyometric exercise working the whole body. It's a full body uh, exercise and fat burning, toning, strengthening, coordination, balance. You check off a lot of those things that you wanna do with your workout and with an exercise, okay. So I am done for the day with, well, no, I'm actually done this morning and I will be doing my workout number two this evening, which will be a yoga workout. I don't know if I will, you can't really see me, can you? I don't know if I will film it, but I want you guys to at least see that I do use the resistance bands. They're very important in my fitness journey, my workout journey and once you get them, they are good to keep and use and utilize. So, sorry for the bad lighting, but I wanna just talk to you guys and energize you guys to work out. All right, so welcome to Cardio in the Park. One more time. Welcome to Cardio in the Park.